Hey there, viewers! Trying to up your protein intake on a plant-based diet? Or maybe you're just trying to eat more vegetables. The good news is you don't have to depend upon animal sources to get your daily protein fix. In today's video, we'll talk about 17 vegetables ranked by protein content. Are Hubbard squash and spinach reliable sources of protein? What about asparagus? We'll be talking about all of that and more. Number 1. Green Peas with just one cup of green peas, you can get over 8 grams of protein. You can either eat them steamed with carrots or add them as part of your veggie fried rice. It even goes well with chicken pot pie. Try cooking green beans with rice. You'll be thanking us for this delicious idea. Green beans are pretty versatile. You can add them to your vegetable soup or maybe even your noodles. Keep experimenting. Along with protein, you also get 7 grams of fiber. You get all these benefits for just 125 calories. Sounds awesome, doesn't it? Do you like eating green peas? How do you eat them? On their own or with other veggies? Share your preferences with the Bestie community in the comments below. Number 2. Russet Potato Just one large baked potato with skin included gives you as much as 8 grams of protein. Along with the protein, you'll also get carbs that digest slowly. These can help you rebuild your muscles after an intense workout. You can eat the baked potato with some cheddar cheese or even a spoonful of Greek yogurt. Number 3. Collard Greens With one cup of collard greens, you can get over 5 grams of protein. Along with the protein, you get about 75% of the folate your body needs on a daily basis. Collard greens also have vitamin B, which can help produce some much-needed serotonin in your body. This vitamin also ensures you have the energy you need to stay alert and focused throughout the day. Number 4. Hubbard Squash when you eat one cup of cooked Hubbard squash, you get as much as 5 grams of protein. You can add this roasted squash with any soup recipe that includes veggies. You can also toss it in with some bow tie pasta, pine nuts, and arugula. Along with the protein, you also get vitamins A and C. It also has dietary fiber. Most importantly, there's almost zero fat. Looking for answers on all the latest health and wellness news? Hit that subscribe button and join our millions of followers. Stay up to date on all of our great bestie content. Number 5. Spinach If you eat one cup of cooked spinach, you get just over 5 grams of protein. When you eat a cup of raw spinach, you get just 1 gram from it. As you can see, eating it cooked is the best way to get all the benefits of spinach. You can eat it sautéed, which has the added advantage of getting rid of your hunger pains. Cooked spinach also gives you 5 grams of fiber, while raw spinach barely gives you 1. Number 6. Asparagus one cup of asparagus can give you over 4 grams of protein at the cost of just 32 calories. Along with the protein, asparagus is packed with inulin, a type of fiber that can increase the amount of healthy bacteria in your gut. With this inulin, you'll also get potassium. Asparagus can help you lose weight and decrease bloating. Number 7. Corn If you eat one cup of corn, you'll get a little over 4 grams of protein and the same amount of fiber. The only issue with the corn is that it comes at the cost of 134 calories. Although higher in calories compared to other veggie-based sources, corn comes with powerful antioxidants. Corn is also packed with important compounds that have high antioxidant activity. These compounds work together to improve your vision. You can eat corn on its own or add it to your sandwiches, pastas, and noodles. Spicy corn salad is another way to enjoy this protein-rich veggie. Number 8. Sweet Potato Sweet potatoes, when baked with the skin, can give you around 4 grams of protein. You can add it as a side dish when you're having a chicken breast. The potato helps increase the protein you get from your meal. Along with the protein, you can also get carotenoids. These compounds help your skin glow. Before we move ahead, here's another video you might like. Watch and learn about each and every vitamin your body needs. Number 9. Brussels Sprouts one cup of Brussels sprouts after being cooked will give you under 4 grams of protein. While not everyone likes this cruciferous veggie, you should add it to your regular diet to increase your intake of protein. Along with the protein, Brussels sprouts have a lot of fiber, which in turn can reduce the bad cholesterol in your body. Number 10. Mushrooms One cup of grilled portobello mushrooms can give you under 4 grams of protein. Similarly, one cup of stir-fried shiitake mushrooms and a cup of boiled white mushrooms can give you the same amount. Along with the protein, mushrooms also give you vitamin D, which can help boost your immunity levels. This vitamin is also good for your bone health. Number 11. Broccoli When you eat one cup of broccoli, you get a little less than 4 grams of protein. It's best to eat broccoli steamed, as it will preserve the water-soluble nutrients. 
Another advantage of eating steamed broccoli is that it can bring down your chances of getting breast, skin, and lung cancer. Broccoli is rich in a specific compound, which turns into a very effective antioxidant called sulforaphane. Various studies have shown that sulforaphane offers several health benefits like reduced blood sugar and cholesterol. It also brings down your chances of oxidative stress. Oxidative stress causes several health problems and chronic illnesses, as well as premature aging. If you don't like steaming your broccoli, you can also boil it or microwave it. Do not cook broccoli at high temperatures as you'll lose most of the nutrients. It can also be eaten raw. Broccoli soup isn't bad either. My favorite thing to do is saute broccoli and tofu together. Sprinkle some black salt and pepper and your delicious broccoli tofu salad is ready. Number 12. Beet Greens When you eat one cup of sauteed beet greens, you get a little under 4 grams of protein. When you eat it raw, one cup gives you just under 1 gram. You also get a similar amount of fiber, which will decrease your hunger. Along with protein, beet greens are packed with nutrients such as vitamin K, iron, and calcium. Number 13. Broccoli Rob Never heard of it? Well, it could really improve your health. One cup of broccoli rob gives you just over 3 grams of protein. In addition, you also get 300 milligrams of calcium. This amounts to 30% of the calcium your body needs on a daily basis. The calcium also helps improve your endurance levels while making sure your muscles are maintained. Number 14. Avocado Avocado has become a very popular superfood because of all the nutrients it provides. One cup of avocado cubes gives you 3 grams of protein. Considering this cup of avocado will give you 240 calories with the protein, it's better to just have half an avocado instead. This way, you can reduce the calories you consume and still get 2 grams of protein. Number 15. Cauliflower One cup of cauliflower will give you a little over 2 grams of protein. It's one of the better tasting cruciferous vegetables to roast. You can use it as a crust for low-carb pizza. Along with the protein, you also get 3 grams of fiber as well as 77% of the vitamin C your body needs on a daily basis. It also comes with vitamin K and vitamin B6. Number 16. Zucchini If you eat one cup of sliced and cooked zucchini, it can give you over 2 grams of protein. Along with the protein, you also get a similar amount of fiber. You get these benefits for just 27 calories. You can eat zucchini as a side dish by sautéing it in olive oil. You can also cut zucchini into small pieces and use them in various soup recipes. Number 17. Kale A cup of cooked kale can give you a little over 2 grams of protein, while uncooked kale will give you less than 1. While most people seem to eat it raw, it's best to eat it cooked as it can give you more protein for the same amount. If you want to increase your protein intake, maybe add some chickpeas to your kale. Have it all in a salad bowl. Interested in knowing more about veggies and how you can get the best from them? Believe it or not, there are some veggies that actually aren't good for you. Let's keep the conversation going with a couple more veggie-related videos, shall we? Here's what you need to know. Watch 12 ways you're cooking your vegetables wrong and reducing their health benefits. You can also check out 8 healthy vegetables you should be eating and 8 you shouldn't. Go ahead and click one, or better yet, watch both and learn about veggies and nutrition. Are you planning on including these veggies in your daily diet? Let us know in the comments below.